That is why that most of the time we find ourselves forgetting the dates. I will ask you to just see your time use on YouTube or Instagram or any other app. Hello there, Yemen. How are you? If you have been on this channel for so long, I know you must be familiar with my topics such as dopamine fast, resetting your day. And the reason why I like these topics, I know this might sound very harsh, but if you don't plan your days or if you're not aware how you're spending your time, someone else will probably plan it for you. No matter what you do, I think that this is an important skill that you need to develop. So for me, I might not do this reset exercise every time, but I know that every once in a while, whenever I try to do this, it always gives me this clarity in the things that I'm doing at that time. In today's video, I'll be sharing about six things that you can do whenever you feel like you want to reset. So stick around, watch this video till the end to make sure that you don't miss anything or any tip that I'll be talking about today. Now, decluttering is something that I usually relate to removing responsibilities. How does this apply when you're resetting now? Something that keeps coming back is that everything that we own actually gives us responsibilities. So the more that you own, the more the responsibilities. The less that you own, the less the responsibilities. We see this movement of minimalism and intentionalism. What that does is that it tries to, to give you more clarity by removing unnecessary things. It works in every aspect of your life. If you remove things, you will gain more clarity. And there are actually some studies about this. That is that we make 35,000 decisions every single day. And these decisions are related to the things that we own. So I actually have a rule of thumb when it comes to this. And what I usually do is that I delete, I select, and I arrange. I'll remove everything that I don't need everything that is useless and I'll select everything that is useful and arrange that. Now the second one is checking your time use. I can't stress this enough and in fact I just recently did a short video or a video about this where I talked about how I track my time. I usually use an app called Toggle but I definitely think that you can find so many more. So the thing is we always lose the sense of time and in fact that is why the most of the time we find ourselves forgetting the dates. I will ask you to just see your time use on YouTube or Instagram or any other app that you actually really spend a lot of time on. So what this app will help you is that whenever you do anything, you just track it and you'll see that this week I performed this way. The third thing you can do is check your captures, building a second brain. You see, whenever we have ideas, so what most people will do is that they will rely on their brain to do all the remembering. What you're actually doing is that you're making your brain to remember and to think at the same time. Whenever you get ideas, don't leave it in your brain. Instead, write it down somewhere. This is why we have journals. This is why we have digital notepad. Whenever we think about these ideas or our actions that we need to make, we don't rely on our brain to do that remembering. Instead, put it somewhere and then go back to it. That will give you a lot of clarity and a lot of sense of freedom. Looking back and seeing what you had in the previous week or the previous days, previous month, previous year, and seeing what you did achieve and if you didn't achieve it does it still remain a priority to be digital declutter just like the same way we do our physical declutter we need our digital declutter so the way that i usually do this is that i delete everything in my emails my inbox my gallery my photos so the rule of thumb remains the same delete everything that you don't need select what you need and arrange that in an order of your preference All right, that is it for today's video. If you find this very helpful, let me know. Let me know what tips that you use, I would like to know. And on another note, I just recently launched a newsletter and it has topics such as like this and language learning, all about self-discipline. I talk about that in that newsletter and it's free, so make sure you check it out in the description down below. And um, I'm really happy that you watched this video till the end. I'll see you next week, bye.